Hi everyone, this is Camille with imperfectlife.com. Welcome. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Camille with imperfectlife.com where I talk about navigating life after pet loss through inspiration and art. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a topic, 11 easy tips I use to help ease anxiety and stress. So this is actually a topic that is good for everyone. Um, in the world we're living in today is can be highly stressful, a lot of unknown factors going on. You never what's going to have, never know what's going to happen day to day. So I didn't think this is a good overall general topic to discuss. So these are 11 easy tips I use to help ease anxiety and stress on a daily basis. So the first one is eliminate clutter in the home. One of the things that you wouldn't necessarily think that can cause you more um, stress and anxiety is actually a lot of clutter in your home. There's this thing like cleanliness is next to godliness, but um, I feel like when you have less clutter, less junk stuff lying around, you have a more sense of more order in your home. So number one, eliminate extra clutter in your home. I like to do this at least twice a year around springtime and then you know as you head into the uh, fall and winter I like to donate anything I haven't used especially in that in the last five years if I haven't used it in the past like three to five years or longer I need to get rid of it so that can mean things like um, old CDs or music or clothing um, linens so consider giving to your local charity or Salvation Army, or if it's even if you have extra toys from your pets that they no longer use, you can also donate them to your local animal shelter or community um, animal organization nonprofit. So that's the one thing. The second thing, you want to try deep breathing exercises, yoga, or stretching, whichever you are most comfortable with. I must say as for myself i am not the most flexible person <laughs> but i try for me i like doing yoga on occasion i'm not very consistent to be honest however i do find when i do have a repeated pattern of doing either beginner yoga or stretching i do find a difference it does make a difference in your being more limber and flexible um, and it's easy to do. It's not highly strenuous. So that's another option to try. A third thing to try to ease your anxiety or stress is to practice meditation or prayer. I personally am a big fair fan of prayer. I do that daily. But if you are if prayer is not your thing, maybe meditation or something, some other type of practice to calm and center your mind and get in touch with your spirituality may work for you. Number four, believe it or not, just drink a cup of tea. There are so many options. I know this sounds so simplistic, but there are so many options out there when it comes to choices of tea. I personally love a chai tea, peppermint tea, um, red pomegranate tea. There are many options. And even though it sounds so simple, just like if you have fond childhood memories, a nice hot cup of cocoa right after dinner or before bedtime, you know, it's like the same thing, but the adult version. <laughs> so um, I like enjoying a cup of tea um, before bedtime every now and then. It actually works and calms and soothes the soul. And also when it's winter time, it actually helps warm you up as well. Number five, write in a journal. And it doesn't have to be, you know, anything professional. It's, these are just putting your thoughts to, to paper. Um, I like writing in a journal. I Because of the world is electronic, you know, there's digital um, ways to keep track of your records nowadays. So aside from blogging, I do have a journal. I'd like to write physically on a composition note. Uh, notebook, but there are plenty of journal options out there, either electronically, there are apps that you can keep track of your thoughts or also write, uh, write them down on paper. So writing a journal is a nice way to get your thoughts to paper, get your thoughts out. 
Ananas, I know, is actually a great way of manifesting your goals too. Number six, get some fresh air. One of the basic, most fundamental things we can do to help ease our anxiety and stress and just our overall wellness is get some oxygen in our lungs and that vitamin D from outside from the sun. So get some fresh air. It's good for you. Number seven, call a friend. Sometimes just something as simple as getting in touch with an old friend can do wonders for your your spirit and your morale. So I always love it when I can get in touch with friends I haven't talked to in a while. Um, Oftentimes I may be thinking about someone I haven't talked to in a long time and then out of the blue they call me. It's so refreshing to just get caught up with what's going on in their life and reconnecting. It's almost like you haven't missed a beat. So call a friend and just catch up, um, see how they're doing. You never know how much that will mean to someone else. Number eight, listen to calming sounds or music. I love this, especially at nighttime if you're having trouble sleeping. Um, I love listening to sounds like uh, rainfall, thunderstorms, um, nature sounds, raindrops falling, Another thing that's popular now is uh, frequency sounds like in, I think it's megahertz, like 888 or, you know, just different sounds and vibrations to help soothe and calm you. So that's another option. I think there's an app called Calm, C-A-L-M, Calm. That's an app that some people use to help, um, either have calming affirmations or sounds as well, but something to explore. You can also check out videos on YouTube, but that's one, another option. Also something more traditional would be something like instrumental music or jazz music. Number nine, don't forget to laugh out loud. Don't forget to laugh. They say laughter is the best medicine and it it is, (laughs) it does do wonders to lift your mood. So I'm a fan of you know, checking out streaming movies or Netflix, comedy shows, old series. Um, Oh my goodness. Anything from Seinfeld to Golden Girls. Am I dating myself? (laughs) But anyways, um, but yeah, don't forget to laugh out loud. You know, you could stream a comedy special, um, check out a Netflix series or something on, you know, your local network um, TV station or on DVD. So don't forget to laugh out loud. It's definitely um, something to lift your mood and let you forget about your problems at least for an hour or so. Number 10, don't forget to find a hobby, some way to release. So these are just a few options. There are so many things you can do. I think it's important to have a place where you can escape and separate yourself from your daily stressors. So if that means going bowling, if that means going out for a hike, going out in nature, if that means drawing, painting, doodling, um, maybe kickboxing, taking kickboxing class, you can take a ceramics class, woodworking class, one of those, something that's a little bit more fun and different, one of those escape adventures, um, So there's so many options. Just explore by doing an internet search, things to do in my town or sites like Living Social or Travel Do. They have different options and activities to explore. So just find a hobby or a way to get away and separate yourself from whatever is your daily stressor in life because you need that. And last but not least, number 11, cut out any negativity or toxic people in your life. It's important to have an environment and an inner circle that is only positive because there's enough negativity and craziness in the world going on. So to cut out any excessive or unnecessary negativity is so important. Those are the 11 ways I find to ease anxiety and stress. Let me know in the comments what other steps do you use to ease your anxiety and stress in your life? Is there any tips? Are there any tips that I left out? Is there anything else that you practice daily that you incorporate? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. 
Don't forget, you can read the full post in detail on my blog at imperfectlife.com. I will leave the link in the description below. 11 easy tips to help ease anxiety and stress. So until next time, be sure to take care of yourself and I will catch you later in the next one. Bye.